SNP had been predicted to win 10 seats, but the latest predictions show their hold in Parliament dropping down to single figures. SNP's First Minister John Swinney has issued a two-word verdict on his party's performance, after a damning new forecast predicts they will win just six seats. He said his party's result at the general election has been very poor and the party will have to do a lot of soul-searching. Mr Swinney told the BBC, it's a very poor result for the SNP tonight. There will have to be a lot of soul-searching as a party as a consequence of these results that have come in tonight. An earlier exit poll had forecast that the SNP was on track to win 10 seats, but adjustments by the national broadcaster have slashed their seat count to single figures. Furthermore, the latest adjustments by the BBC also affected the other major parties with the Liberal Democrats predicted to take 56 seats rather than the 61 suggested by the exit poll. Meanwhile, the Conservatives are expected to have gained more seats than expected with 154 versus 131 suggested by the poll. Labour is still expected to enjoy a landslide, but the new data suggests they will have 405 seats rather than 410. Whilst the major parties could find themselves with slightly more or slightly fewer seats than the exit poll suggested, it has been a bruising night for the SNP. Soon after the exit poll came through at 10pm, former leader of the party Nicola Sturgeon reacted, this is at the grimmer end of expectations for the SNP. She added, there are clearly big issues in a result of this scale for the SNP. The SNP has been in government for 17 years, we are in government now at a time when austerity is really biting, the impact of Brexit is biting, of course there were always going to be real challenges in this election. This is not a good night for the SNP on these numbers, and there will be a lot of questions that need to be asked as we come out of it. I think there will be a question about whether there was enough in the campaign to give effectively a USP to the SNP in an election that was about getting the Tories out and replacing them with Labour. Dot alongside Nicola Sturgeon, former First Minister of Scotland Alex said he believed that the SNP's disastrous evening was not because of a lack of support for Scottish independence. He said, London commentators are crowing about seeing the back of the independence argument. But the slaughter of the SNP is not because of independence. How could it be? The SNP did not even campaign on it. In reality the support for independence is strong. It is the SNP who are weak. The independence case must now find new vehicles to move forward. Dot speaking to Sky News Scottish Tory MSP Murdo Fraser countered, it does look like that is now crumbling away and the SNP are looking at their worst election result, maybe for 15 years or more. And I think that suggests that people in Scotland are thinking again about their future. Let's remember, of course, John Swinney and the SNP were saying this election would be a de facto referendum on whether Scotland remained part of the UK. Well, it looks like people in Scotland have made up their minds on that question.